but our white mid-sized car was faithful to bring us to our first destination here in western Nebraska. This is the start of our Great Plains trip, and we're here at Scott's Bluff National Monument. Yeah, I really wish I got that pickup truck. Yeah. It's killing me. I mean, we get to the car rental place, and there's two options for us. There's this beautiful pickup truck and like this 38 person passenger van. The McMahon van, Dad. That thing was, <laughs> what was that all about? Wait, is this thing on? You know what? Um, let me show you what happened when we arrived in Colorado this morning. The trip is finally underway. It's been complicated so far. Let me give you a little rundown of sort of what's happened. To rent a car at the Denver airport is about $700. To rent the car that we got here was $211. But the problem is it's in Stapleton, Colorado, which is 20 miles from the airport. So we had to take an Uber to get to the spot. Problem with that is I gave the Uber the wrong address and then he missed a couple turns and the 30 Uber dollar bill, $30 Uber bill, uh, rose to $46. So we spent 46 bucks getting here, but we still saved a ton of money. Also, found out when I got here that, I didn't know I did this, I checked off any car available. And the only two cars available were a big cargo van and a pickup truck. So we were gonna get the pickup truck. Only problem with the pickup truck is it gets like 21 miles to a gallon. So we were spending an arm and leg driving from here to North Dakota on 21 miles a gallon. But the guys next to us wanted the pickup truck. They had the midsize, so it's hard for me to say this, but I actually gave them the pickup truck and we are using the midsize and we'll save probably $200 on gas. We are finally out of here. Time to start this trip. Let's go. So we got a train here, Kayla. That's about 100 cars long. At least. <laughs> and we need to go left up here. I meant to say we gotta go right. In three miles, which means we need to beat this train to that intersection or we're gonna wait a long time to cross the road. Don't want to do anything dangerous, but I prefer not to wait for the train. We made it to the engine, but the problem is we got road work ahead. So it looks like the train's gonna win. Last night we stayed here at Rubidoux RV Park. It's only about a stone's throw away from Scotts Bluff National Monument. Getting ready to head over there very shortly. Scotts Bluff National Monument was set up for uh, a landmark on the California Oregon Pony Express Trail, probably most well known for the Oregon Trail. Hey, we're at Scott's Bluff National Monument. We were actually here last night. Uh, I shot some footage. I'm using all of that video for the Great Trails vlog that I put together. If you want to check it out, it's right here. And then we were here for about two hours again this morning. And I want to use all of that footage for the Scott's Bluff National Monument vlog that we put together devoted just to this park. Stay tuned for that. area being a landmark I call it an inspiration point because Chimney Rock uh, they would see it for almost three days before they came uh, across the plains and then they'd see Scott's Bluff here in the distance and this helped them to know that they were approaching the mountains. This is the Saddle Rock Trail really the only major trail here at Scott's Bluff National Monument uh, it starts at the visitor center and works its way up to the top of this bluff we are starting on the top and we're gonna work our way down. I like going that direction better, don't you? Yeah, me too. Let's go. If 
follow directions. You don't want to end up like that guy, Kayla. So what do you think about Scott's Bluff? Um, it was pretty interesting learning all the history behind it. Um, how the you know wagons came through here, and I like looking at all the cool formations of the uh, sandstone because you feel like it could just like come off in your hand, and it's just like cool to see like again like all the openness of the plains everywhere. You can see the sky forever. All right, that'll wrap things up for Scotts Bluff. We only stayed here for about two hours today, and about an hour yesterday filming the trails. You come to Scotts Bluff, I'd say half day, one day max, you can see pretty much everything that's here. Really what you're looking at are the great trails that pass through this area and the bluffs. Beautiful area here in western Nebraska. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel.